Hi, it's your boy Life of Darius, aka Dre the Martian, and we are back. We're back today with a double header, man. I told y'all, consistent Darius, he's in the building, man. And you see what we got today, man. We have a, uh, I guess, a subscriber suggested video, man. This is a uh, very much requested after my reaction to Please Please Me, and this is what every number one song of the 1960s, man. Let's get into it. All right, I'm gonna keep the intro real short today, man. Y'all was pretty much saying in the comments, Life of Darius. You, you 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 understand the Beatles, but you don't really understand the Beatles. Like, you kind of in the videos over whooping because you know the Beatles music of the 60s. But you don't know you don't know what really was going on in the 60s. You don't really know the context of how they changed music in the 60s. How, how the Beatles was just a rush of energy and the music and all that. And I understand, right? I understand where y'all coming from, man. And, you know, I, I love to educate myself. That's one thing about me, man. When I feel like I don't know something, when I feel like I missed something, misinterpreted something... I like to get more context with it, right? And that's what we're doing here today with this video, every number one song of the 1960s, right? I'm literally just watching this just to get my own personal view of the progression of music in the 60s. I know how the Beatles changed music, but it's going to hit different to hear it, y'all. It's a little 18-minute video, right? It's probably going to be a lot of songs on here, man. We're going to see if it's some hits, some, some hidden gems on here that we might, you know what I'm saying, tuck into the files, listen to a little bit later, or if it's a whole bunch of basura besides the Beatles, man. We're going to figure that out today. Let's get into it. Yeah, let's go. So. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, let me start. I, I just finished this in a hard day's night. Y'all, if you know, you know, man. Let's go. All right, now nah, I'm ready. Talk to me, talk to me, eight series. In this video, we look at every number one song of the 60s on the Billboard Hot 100. Talk to me. Talk to me, 60s. Out through the back door of roses I read, out where the horses are riding back, love little white dog. Johnny Preston, I heard that name before. Angel, can you hear me? Hey! Oh yeah, it's a banger. It's a banger, y'all. Because I'm stuck on a you. Okay, Elvis. Don't want you to love. Are these niggas cavemen? What, what, what's going on? Alright, let's go. Is she a cave woman? Is that the vibes in the 60s? The Fred Flintstone vibes? Itsy bitsy teeny weeny. Hey! Okay, okay. 60s had some hits. Okay, Connie. I don't want to go. Say the last dance for okay. me. Mm. I want to be wanted. Oh. Hold on, Brenda. It's moonlight through the pine. Ray Charles. We love some Ray Charles. Never heard of Zodiacs. Are you lonesome? Talk to me, Elvis. Okay, that was 60, so uh, that was Elvis year, apparently. We got that. 61. Hey. Yeah. Do the pony with your That's the chubby checker. <laughs> Won't you please surrender to me? O.J. Simpson in the black. Oh, that's not oh, my fault. That's not O.J. Oh. Was that his voice? Sixty one, kind of picking it up a little bit. Just a little bit. Take good care of my baby. Ah, 
61 kind of fell off at the end. Oh, classic. You know it's a classic. Hit the road, Jack. My boy got so Big Bad John. Yes. Yes, this is the song that I was thinking of when I was listening to it, the Beatles, bro. I, I don't know why I thought that could be the Beatles original. It's obviously my my girls, the Marvelettes, man. And they, I was saying the Beatles own that song, man. But, uh, the Marvelettes did their thing too, man. Let's just say that, man. Anyway. Sixty one, I don't know, man. I don't know about sixty one. I thought it was good. Like this, twist, up, 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 up. Let me tell you that fucking magician held off. Of don't Talk to me, Cardi. Hey. Elvis back. Big Elvis back. Big Ray was going crazy. What? Was it 1962? What? I need some context on that song right there, bro. What the hell was this? Was that heavy metal? Was, or was that the Beatles? <laughs> Whoever that was, was heavy metal. I was just giving the Beatles too much credit, man. But I don't know, man. I don't know what the, it sounded good for 1962. It sounded very heavy. So yeah, anyway. <laughs> We got the video vixens. That's my little Sheila, man. This little girl is fine. Yeah. It was a graveyard. Oh, not this nigga again. It caught on in a flash. Oh, hell no. Okay, here we go. Oh, I like I like that one. I like that last one. Tornadoes. I like that one. I think we're starting to get more into. He was not Elvis. Paul and Paula. Cortez was cheat codes, bro. All I'm seeing on here is Cortez with four beautiful, amazing, melanated black woman singers. That's all I'm seeing in the, in the early 60s. I, I'm guessing that was the cheat code back then. Cause <laughs> that's all I'm seeing is this and Elvis and a bunch of Elvis impersonators. That's all I'm seeing right now. I don't know. Maybe that's the wrong way to look at it, but yeah. 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 Oh. Man, where are the Beatles? I'm sorry for pausing, y'all, but that last song, Surf City, bro, is that not what the Beach Boys music sounds like? <laughs> like, like, I'll be honest with y'all, man. Y'all keep telling me to listen to the Beach Boys pet sounds. And I'm going to listen to it at some point, right? It's probably going to be the next group we listen to after we clear the rest of the Beatles and get through some more lead, right? But when I picture the Beach Boys, man, it, 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 this, this, this is the sound I picture. Hold on, not this. It's, it's, it's too much soul here. This. This is not what beat, this is not what pet sounds don't sound like this. That's what y'all are saying. Okay. Oh, 
Now, Lil Stevie? Lil Stevie? I thought I said my boyfriend's black. <laughs> this, this video finna get me canceled, y'all. I shouldn't be watching this. Deep purple? That's deep purple? Dama who? Dama, man, okay, let me start a little bit. Dominica. I'm just in a real, just finish the video, y'all, but I'm having too much fun with this right now. We ain't even halfway through this motherfucker. Dominica. The only Dominique's I know is black. That's all I'm gonna say, y'all. I don't know about that song. There, <laughs> let me stop. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Damn, Beatles. Hold on, three. Of them. Hold on. God damn. Okay. Let me just say something real quick. I, I, I don't think I've. I never heard that. I want to hold your hand song, but apparently that's the number one song. And this is why I really am gonna get into past masters. I'm gonna listen to this one. After I listen to Help, right? Because they told me that Help is the cutoff to this one to pass Masters. I'm listening to this one to pass Masters after Help. Because I feel like I'm missing a lot of whoops. Like, I already know she loves me, but I, I don't know I want to hold your hand. And apparently that was their first number one hit, right? And Can't Buy Me Love. I just listened to this shit yesterday. This is, uh, can't buy me love. Like, this is my shit, baby. Anyway. Yeah. Talk to me, Paul. That's three in a row. Okay. That's three. I'm counting. Love me this is the number one song? Love with the harmonicas? Oh, yeah, that's fun. I don't care what they say, I won't stay in a world without love. I don't care what they say, I won't stay in <laughs> Man, uh. <laughs> bro, what is this? The B Tech Beatles, bro? What the hell is this? They literally got the same haircuts. They trying to sing with this. Okay, I, I didn't know their influence was gonna show this quickly. Like they just had another one hit apparently a couple months ago. <laughs> They already got imitators, man. So great job, Beatles. Big up the Beatles already, man. But this is this is hilarious. Love, love. <laughs> Beach Boys? Hey, the fourth season got some hits. That's five. That's five already. We love the Supreme. Nah, mute is already a difference. You can feel the difference already. Not the leader of the pack, not the alpha. Ringo. Ringo. I'm Mr. Lonely. Oh. That's the original to that. Supreme's going crazy too. Six. I haven't heard this song yet, y'all. I feel a little spoiled, but that's six. That's six in one year? Six in one year, Beatles? Jeez. Don't hang Okay. I haven't heard this one either, y'all. That's seven, though. Hey, shout out to Supremes, bro. The Supremes is carrying. The Supremes is neck and neck with the Beatles right now, man. I've been keeping count low key, but damn. Right? I'm not, obviously, you know, this was more of a niche <laughs> type, of, type of music the uh, Supremes were making, but come on, bro. Like, this is crazy. This is crazy. I love seeing all these black artists. 
back then. That's something I know I didn't really want to bring race into everything, but come on, bro. I, this, this just makes my heart. It's warms my heart seeing the Stevie Wonders, the Ray Charles, the Supremes, you know, so the Marvelettes. It, just beautiful, man. Beautiful music. And, and you can already tell, like, especially towards the back end of 64, the difference. But I feel like we're really going to figure out by, by the end of this year. Anyway, though, yeah, my, Michael Jordan. In the name of love. Look like the Beatles. Okay, first of all, is everybody trying to look like the Beatles in 1965? Is that like the thing in 1965? And second of all, this this song just like gave me an epiphany because I, I think Eminem sampled this song. <laughs> I think Eminem sampled this and one of his songs. It's like, I don't know why that just came out of nowhere like that. But <laughs> Sounds good, but yeah. Oh, these dudes are trying to be the Beatles. La 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 la. She doesn't love me. That is eight. Hold on. What album that on? Okay, hold on, bitch boys. Ain't saying that bad. Bro, I'm not trying to keep pausing, bro. But look at these niggas, bro. Like, like, come look at this. Look, look at this dude, bro. Is, is, this, is this the blind John? He's supposed to be the blind John in it? Like, what's going on with Broski, man? Like, and it's, <laughs> it's crazy because early 60s, look like everybody was trying to look like a uh, motherfucking Elvis or Frank Sinatra or some shit, bro. And I look like everybody, oh, oh, the Beatles. Everybody's trying to look <laughs> like the Beatles. Now, that's crazy to me, bro. You get it? And it happened so quickly, bro. I thought it was going to take a couple more years to see the, like, it's, it's right here in 1960. <laughs> that's crazy. Even these niggas trying to be the Beatles. I see the all black. That's Big Mick Jagger? Uh, oh my god. That's one of the Beatles' best songs, period. I don't early Beatles, late Beatles, help is one of their best songs. Period. That's Terry. That's Terry for the big Beatles. Hold on. Oh, the birds. Oh, is this the Beatles? There's so many Big Tech Beatles. Am I tripping? Simon and Garfunkel. That's 11. With the 11 or 12. Everybody let's go. Nancy Sinatra. It's more Sinatra's. The Righteous Brothers low key going crazy. The mamas and the papas. That was, that was the gap cheat code. That was a gap cheat code right there. You couldn't hit that note without that gap, man. Shout out, shout out my boy, though. <laughs> but, bro, why is everybody looking and sounding like the Beatles, bro? This reminds me, and I know a lot of y'all are not going to get this comparison, but this reminds me of the late 2010s where the rappers with the colorful dreads and the face tattoos and the lean addiction and the opiate addictions and all that just started popping up out of nowhere, and then just every other rapper just wanted to be exactly like that, right? This is what it's given to me because it, just like that happened so quickly, this seems to just like instantaneous. Like right after the first two albums, like, well, we gotta be the Beatles. Like this is crazy to me. Like and, and I and I'm seeing him like I heard a beat a couple Beach Boys songs throughout here and I said earlier that the Beach Boys songs sound garbage to me, but like I don't know the song Rhonda, I don't know the name of it, but it's like Rhonda, Rhonda, whatever they were saying, that sounded good. Right? So I don't like maybe maybe motherfuckers trying to get better with the Beatles. I don't know, bro. But let me finish let me finish this off. <laughs> I'm not going to keep geeking out about this video, man. I didn't think I was going to have this much fun with this video, y'all. I'm sorry. I thought it was going to be over in like 
20 minutes, but <laughs> let's get to it. Hey. See? The Rolling Stones whoops. What was that? I gotta hear that. That's like 14, 15. I'll stop counting, y'all. They got a lot. More than everybody else. <laughs> Can I cannot take these niggas serious. Running around looking like the Beatles. Supreme's got longevity. Okay, Supreme's. This is crazy. Beatles dupes everywhere. It's B Tech Beatles everywhere I look. Thank you, Supremes. Supremes was neck and neck with the Beatles, y'all. They're right there. I'm a believer. That's my shit. 67. Okay. This is when it gets, this is when it gets a little old. Twisted, if you get what I'm saying. I'm not gonna keep saying it, bro, but y'all, y'all, y'all see it. If I can see it, y'all can see it. Okay. The Supremes have a number one every year. Some place to dance. I know that there's a chance you won't be. His wife and his daughter. Talk to me, Supreme. Hey, baby, I got it. What you mean? That might be the best song of the '60s, y'all. I'm sorry. With respect to the Beatles. The Doors. This is recommended to me a lot. The Doors. Like I heard that before. Stop looking at me like that, bro. If you wanted the sky, I would ride across the sky. Ooh. The monkeys. This is number one too. They had like 20 at this point, bro. I don't even know where the Beatles are. I know they have the most number one hits like of any band ever, artist ever, so it makes sense. That's not even a green tambourine song. What's going on? Everything seems to stay. Big Otis, rest in peace, big Otis, man. And honey, I miss you. I ain't seen the Beatles in a little minute, y'all. Maybe I shouldn't. That is not how I thought Simon and Garfunkel would sound. I'm just gonna be honest with y'all. Hey. Is the doors giving Beatles vibes? I wouldn't be mad if they was, trust me. Man, bring the Beatles back, bro. Who are all these nobodies? Hey. I just know, y'all. I got a sixth sense for the Beatles. Oh, Robbie. Mm. All right, 69, man. Final year, man. Abbey Road season. Beautiful times. Yeah. You can just tell me. It's, it's, it's completely different, bro. Fly in the film, mm. no, Frying pair. I don't know. I forgot what he said. In the year 55, 55. 
The year 25, 25. Elvis, why don't you sit your ass down? It's been seven years since you're out of here, huh? I respect it. That song was hard. Ugh. There we go. You see how the energy just picked up when the Beatles came back through? The whole energy of the video. And now it's back down. Peter, Paul, and Mary. Supremes. Yes, W Supremes. That was the last, okay, that was an abrupt ending, man. That kind of felt like the ending she's so heavy. But Five okay. words you pronounce wrong two years before your- Anyway. <laughs> All right, so, so that was every number one Billboard song of the 1960s. And I was a little iffy going into this video, it was crazy. All right, y'all, so, so that was every number one Billboard hit of the 1960s. And I was a little iffy going into the video, man. I didn't really know if I'd learn much from this video, but. I just learned a whole lot, man. First of all, it's like the Beatles, they had a lot of copycats, right? And obviously, y'all know about these bands a lot better than me to tell me who was the real copycats and who was really just, you know, doing their own thing and just happened to be similar to the Beatles. But it's just, it reminds me so much of the mumble rap era and just every rapper trying to have dreads and face tats and sibling. That was what they were doing in the 60s. Every uh, artist was having black suits and slick back hair and, and trying to sing with the nasally vocals like, y'all not John Lennon, bro. Y'all not John Lennon, bro. Especially when we got to the later years and the Beatles started to have less hits. Like, I could hear the change in music from everybody else. Or I said, like, I noticed how the Beach Boys kind of, they, they went from that first little weak-ass surfing song I heard to that Help Me Run the song, right? I, so I don't know if that song, uh, Pet Sounds or whatever, but that was a good song. Even the Rolling Stones, like, I, even the Rolling Stones, man, I thought, the, even the Rolling Stones, I don't really know much about the Rolling Stones, but I do know they had, like, some type of little pseudo-beef with the Beatles and things of that nature, man. So I, I, I'm assuming the Beatles are better, right? But I got to check out the Rolling Stones just because if you're competing with the Beatles and I love the Beatles, I got to hear that too, right? Yeah, once we got to the later years, like the 1967, 68, when the 69, when the Beatles started to have, you know, less number one hits, they were touring less and things of that nature, bro. You could, I didn't like hearing anybody else's song, bro. When the Beatles song came out, it just hit different than everybody else's song. Obviously, there were certain exceptions. There were just certain songs that are so classic, it's, it's going to hit my ears instantly, but... The Beatles were the status quo. That's all I'm getting from this. The Beatles were the status quo. Uh, I guess at the turn of, at the turn of um, the decade, it was Elvis. And then by 1964, it was the Beatles, man. That's what I'm getting from this. And by the end, it was still the Beatles. <laughs> Five years later, it was still the Beatles, man. As fast as, music was, as fast as music was moving, they were still the status quo, for, what, six years? Even after they broke up and things of that nature. So you, you got to give me the, the Beatles respect for coming up in this era. Era of music with motherfuckers like the Herman Hermits and, and Mushmouth and shit and and just standing out, find a way to stand out, find a way to be creatively different and make just beautiful art, y'all. Beautiful art, right? But that's enough dick riding the Beatles today, y'all. Let's, 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 let's end this video off on a good note. Okay, I will be dropping Led Zeppelin number three tomorrow along with the Honey Pie, not the Honey Pie, what's that shit called? Moby Dick 1970 live reaction. That's going to be dropping tomorrow and then we're going to get the Beatles for sale the day after, which I believe is Friday. Right, so we got, we're going to be dropping a lot of whoops, man. I'm going to be hitting y'all a lot of double headers, you know, back-to-back -back whoops and things of that nature. Try to catch up on all the time I missed. But yeah, that's that on that, y'all. With all that being said, I'm going to y'all a dude. It's your boy Life of Darius, a.k.a. Monster Mash, and I am I, Jesus Sandals, man.